Hello everyone. We are here within our ring group section of our portal as in this video we are going to be reviewing how you are able to enable call queues. Call queues can keep your company organized by placing callers in a virtual line until there is an agent available to assist. Since call queues are part of ring groups, we are going to go ahead and edit one of our ring groups now. For the sake of this video, we are going to go in and edit our billing ring group to enable call queues. And then we are going to go over and select call routing. Next, we can scroll down until we see call queues. Enabling this call queue option will help you stay organized during times of high call volume. It also allows you to acknowledge each caller without having to answer the call right away. With the recording options we have, you are able to upload your own recording, or you can choose to use our default music. If you do not wish to use our default option, you can simply click Change and then Browse File to select your own. This option is a great opportunity to take advantage of listening callers on hold. You can choose to upload business announcements, special sales or promotions going on, custom music, or a personalized recording that lets your customers know that you will be with them momentarily. If you're going to be uploading your own file, simply select Upload after you have attached your desired file. Next, we are going to go down to the secondary ringing option, which is by default turned off. When turned off, your phone will not ring when a new participant comes into the call queue. Only until you hang up will your current phone begin to ring, signaling that there is someone waiting in the call queue. By answering the call, you will be connected to the next customer in line. When the secondary ringing option is turned on, your phone will begin to ring while you are on a current call to notify you that there is another caller waiting within the queue. Then we can go ahead and save. Call queues can be added to existing ring groups, as we just saw, or they can be added to new ring groups. So let's go in and create a new ring group. We can select Add Ring Group. I'm going to create a ring group for wholesale. And then we can scroll down and enable call queues, just as before. But if you notice this time, it won't let us save. This is because we have to add tiers within the time block section. So we're going to scroll up and then select Add Tiers. I am inputting the options. So this is telling the system that first it's going to ring to a few team members for 10 rings, and then it is going to go to the sales department for another 10 rings, and then if still no answer, we are going to send it over to the sales department voicemail. Once this is all in place, we can then select save. And then when we scroll down this time, we notice that we are able to save this new wholesale ring group successfully. Now that you are able to enable call queues, we are sure that you will experience a more efficient call flow.